I'll be honest, um, I grew up in a home that was very loving. My parents loved the Lord. They shepherded me well into um, loving the Lord as well and, and knowing who Jesus was and explain, explaining to me at a very early age um, what Christianity was, um, what my faith was about. Kind of how it happened one Sunday, I was six years old, really young, and uh, I asked my mom, hey mom, I want to be taken down the aisle and I want to talk to a pastor and I, I want to be baptized. Um, he explained to me with the, uh, the fabled felt board where uh, on one side is, is God and there's a, there's a canyon and on the, on the other side is, is me and Christ comes down and he fills the gap and I walk across to be with God. Um, and that illustration, even at the, that early age of six, uh, it stuck with me. Um, I understood what the gospel was on the whole and it is by his grace and his grace alone that um, as a six-year-old child, um, it made sense. And, and so I walked, I walked in that for, for a long time. Um, and what I thought was the favor of the Lord and I, I became very arrogant very quickly in my walk. I, I thought because of what I was told, being told around me that I was, I was loved by God and that um, I was very important to God and that he, he cared so much about me and that he, he sent his own son to die for me so of course I must be of utmost importance to him. And I became very arrogant and very conceited in that knowledge. Um, I walked in such a way where um, I felt like God owed me something. If he, put me on his team, I must be something worthwhile for him, that I must be something um, great that um, he would do such a thing. I put God um, second in my life in that respect. I took the grace that he had given me and I had in turn um, flipped it upside down to where Yes, I was the one being saved, but it was not for the glory of God. He opened my eyes to my idolatry. He opened my eyes to see where I had taken a sacrificial act of love and had perverted it to where not only was I the beneficiary, but I was also the person who made it happen. Thankfully, he opened my eyes to the gospel at around the age of 17, um, and he broke me of my, uh, my arrogance and my conceitedness and thinking that he needed me at all. And in that understanding of what the gospel truly was, that Christ came and he saved me. And he saved me not for my own ends and not for my own gain, but for in the end to ultimately glorify the Father in all things. It was only by the kind intention of his will that he invited me into his kingdom. And it was simply because he loved me for the glory of his own name.